chorus for me is, there's got to be a great lift in a chorus. Um, I, I don't, it, it doesn't matter, I think, if it's a ballad or a, or an upbeat or a mid-tempo song. If there's a lift, if you feel that, um, the lift in the song, there's got to be that change between your, your verse and your chorus. Um, so that's the number one thing for me, is a big, big melody lift in the chorus. Also, of course, you got to have a killer setup line as well as your hook. But I say your setup line is even more important than your hook because that's what's going to drive home the point of your chorus. Um, you really want that payoff at the end of a chorus. So to me, those are two things that you really need in a chorus, a lift and a major payoff. The way you move in rhythm with me every step You know my next move The essentials of a good song for me are um, the heart, the meaning behind the song. Um, I think if you have your songs coming from a from a relatable place, especially a place of personal um, a, a past experience or something going on in your life, you really put your own heart into that song, and I think that really comes through in a song. So that's number one. Um, number two, a great melody, something that sticks in somebody's head. You want someone to sing along, and and if it's a if it's an upbeat party song, you want them to have fun with your song, and they're going to do that with a good melody. So for me, it's put some good feeling, good heart behind it, and also put a great melody on your song. I never want this dance to be over. I wanna... Co-writing for me has certainly been a, a learning experience over the past few years. Um, the number one thing when you first start co-writing you're in a room with somebody that you may not really know personally. Um, you met them through a contact or you met them at a, a songwriter night and you want to co-write with someone. Well, you get into a room with somebody and most of the time you're writing from maybe an emotional place. And that's hard to open up to somebody that you don't know, I think, and write a true song and write from your heart. But I think that's something as co-writers and songwriters we have to be open to and allow ourselves to be vulnerable in that situation. So that was certainly a, a learning experience for me to be able to open up to somebody like that, that I don't really know personally. But over time, of course, you do get to know these people and your, your co-writers become friends um, professionally and even outside. It, it turns into a great relationship. Um, but as the time goes on, for me, it's been, what can I bring to the table into every co-write? Is it a chorus? Is it a melody? Is it a hook? Is it a guitar riff or a chord structure? But I feel the need to always at least bring something to the room. Um, and one other point is to be open to your other co-writer's ideas. You know, it's, it's one of these things, it's a two-way street. We're going to give and take. It's not always about what we want. Um, you're in that room with that other person to to use their experience, use their talents as well, and, and to pull out the best stuff for the song that you're writing. And hopefully the two or three or four, or 10 of you sometimes, whatever it is, can come up with some great material. That's what it's all about. What you're doing now, it's driving me crazy. You know, this business of being a songwriter, an artist, or a, a musician in general, is it's a very self-driven business. If we don't get out there and find work for ourselves or go make our contacts and, and increase our network, nobody's really going to come find us. So it's very self-driven, self-disciplined. You treat it like a business. You essentially are your own business. I am my product. I'm selling me, whatever that is. If it's a song or if it's a me as a singer or musician, this is what you're selling. So you need to treat it as such. Um, be responsible. It's not all about partying and having, having a great time on, on Friday nights and Saturday morning sometimes. You're going to have a 10 o'clock co-write. You've got to get up for that co-write and you need to be there and sharp because that other person across the room is there for a reason as well. So I think professionalism goes a long, long way in this town. Keeping appointments, being on time for appointments. Um, for me, that's something I, I really try to stay on top of because other people appreciate that. They want to work with somebody I think that is professional and, and treats it as such. So this self-driven thing is, is a huge aspect of being in this town for me. Um, again, uh, if I don't put myself out there and, and go meet people and, and work my butt off, nobody's going to know who the heck I am. So I'm happy to do it too. It's fun. I love meeting all the new people and um, 
Again, Nashville's a great town to do it in, so I'm happy and thankful to be here for sure. Mm-hmm.